Hi, I'm James Disciple Johnson, and this is another Disciple Moment from Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. Have you ever felt up and down in your Christian walk? Like sometimes you're just so fired up, and sometimes you're just down in the doldrums. Do you want God to send you out to do ministry? When you speak, do you want people to feel that God's Holy Spirit just spoke to them through you, full of the Holy Spirit and power? It's time to start operating the deep stuff of the Word, not just the basic stuff. Hebrews 6 1 says, Therefore, let us move beyond the elementary teachings about Christ and be taken forward into maturity not laying again the foundation of repentance from acts that lead to death and of faith in God. Paul's saying it's time for us to move on and not just be a basic Christian, but to be a spiritual man of God. In 1 Corinthians 3, he says, I could not even speak to you as spiritual, but as fleshly people. I fed you with milk, not the meat, for you weren't ready. Indeed, even now you're not ready. Paul's writing to Christians saying, it's time to step up your game. Many Christian men just talk about the same stuff the world does when they meet together. They talk about football and motorcycles and what's going on with their job. That's fleshly stuff that the world talks about. We need to be talking like men of God. We need to be spiritual men. Just because you say you're a Christian doesn't mean you're a spiritual man. Just because you go to church doesn't mean that when you open up your mouth, you speak with the power of God. Just because you say you're a Christian doesn't mean your conversations are centered and oriented around Christ. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you're deep into trying to be closer to God, not just a regular Christian. I'm going to assume that Isaiah 6, 8 talks about you when it says, Then I heard the Lord saying, whom shall I send? Who will go for us? And I said, here I am, send me. If you believe God is sending you out to minister, then you have a deeper calling on your life. You can't just stand by and do whatever the rest of the world does and get away with the bare minimum. You need to step out and not be a milk drinker. You need to be a meat eater. You need to be deep in the word of God. Milk drinkers are people who argue about obedience to the Word of God. There are people who argue over doctrine, and they're focused on whether or not it's okay to smoke pot or can Christians go to strip clubs. That's disappointing. They're more concerned about can they listen to worldly music than should they be listening to praise and worship music. That's for the basic people. If you're going to be spiritual, you need to get up and do it. A son, a servant, is a person who gets out and does the Word, like James 1.22 says. Be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only. There's plenty of hearers out there who do the bare minimum, but you want to be a serious man of God. So, if you're here, if you're watching this video, if you want to be a son and a servant, you need to realize that it takes all that. Some people can get away with, it don't take all that. You need to do what takes you to get to the next level. The bowl of milk for the cat is under the table. If you're going to eat serious, meaty word of God, then you're going to need a solid table. Imagine for a minute having a nice big cut of meat, the kind that you got to break out a big solid knife to chop into. And if you're there trying to balance the plate on your knees, and, and it's just a paper plate balanced on your knees, and you're trying to slice into the deep meat, you're going to chop your knee off. You're going to cut your leg off. You're not going to help yourself. To be able to throw some serious meat from the Word of God, you need a table. And the table has four legs. See, Galatians 6, 8 says, Whoever sows to please their flesh from the flesh will reap destruction. Stuff that just pleases us, that's not going to help us. But whoever sows to the Spirit from the Spirit will reap eternal life. So how do you sow to the Spirit? I submit to you that a sturdy table has four legs. The legs that will support you as a man of God are a daily word and prayer time. 
worship music where you're worshiping God, a daily worship time where you're talking about his attributes and how wonderful he is and his majesty, and you're thanking him for his salvation. A daily word and prayer time, a daily worship time, a schedule of fasting, skipping meals, skipping food out of honor for God, as is described in the Bible in Isaiah 58. And then a lifestyle of giving. The Bible talks constantly about how important it is to give. God has blessed you with a job. You've got yourself a motorcycle. He didn't leave all of those financial blessings for you to just spend on yourself. He asks you to give to the church in tithes, give in offerings to missionaries, give to the man of God, and give to the poor. All of these things are clearly outlined in the Bible. So the sturdy table has four legs, a daily word and prayer time, a daily worship time, fasting, and giving. If the Bible is telling us that we should be giving and we're not doing it, and we're keeping our finances for ourselves rather than giving back to God, we're being disobedient. The Bible says in Luke 16, if you have not been faithful with money, who will commit to your trust the true riches? The true riches aren't money. They're the word of God, the meat, the good stuff that's in the word of God. What are some of the deeper things of God? What is the meat? Well, how about the doctrines of laying on of hands described by Paul? How about casting out demons? There are many people oppressed by demons in your daily life. Breaking generational curses, the kind of sin that's traveled down through the families and hurt people at a young age. Successfully praying healing, laying your hands on people as according to James 5 and following the steps to see them healed from their sickness, from their hurts, from their broken hearts. These are the deep things of the word. Receiving a word of knowledge like Corinthians 9 talks about. A supernatural information from God that helps you to be able to witness to somebody that you never have really had a connection with before. These are the deep things of the word, but you can't get meat on the table without having a sturdy table. It's four basic and easy things to do. Giving financially to the men of God and the church that are around you and to the poor around you. Fasting, skipping a meal, skipping a day's worth of meal. Not eating between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Choosing to skip food out of sacrifice and obedience to God. Giving, fasting, a daily worship time, listening to praise and worship music for a few minutes. Spending time just sitting by yourself praising God for who he is and thanking him for all he's given you and for the sacrifice of his son. And then a daily word and prayer time. It's going to be impossible for you not to go on highs and lows, the roller coaster ride, if you're not building a sturdy table for yourself. These aren't deep and serious doctrines. These are the basic things that the Bible describes men of God doing. Giving, fasting, having a worship time, and being in the word and prayer. By doing these things, you'll sow to the Spirit. You'll make yourself more full of the Spirit. You'll be strengthening your relationship with God. You'll be setting the Word of God in your heart so that when you open your mouth and speak, people receive healing. People receive the power of God, not just whatever you had to say that day. I encourage you to look at the links that are underneath this video read through. We've got some powerful videos posted, some powerful teachings on what the Bible says. We've listed a whole lot of scripture. Go through those links and look at the and understand the meat of the four legs. And again, they're fasting, giving, a daily word and prayer time, and a daily worship time. I'm James Disciple Johnson. This has been another Disciple Moment. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray that this word will germinate in the hearts of men, that it won't be seed cast on the path that's stolen away by the birds, Father, but that it will germinate in the fertile hearts of men, and that it will bring forth fruit, some 30, some 60, and some 100-fold, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for watching this Disciple Moment from Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club.